Hey guys, Paul here from Paul's Discus. Happy Halloween! In this video, I'm going to be doing a little bit of a fish room update. Let's get to it. Okay, let's start the update. Um, so first of all, I'm probably going to start off with some bad news. You might notice that the rams are no longer in that tank. And that the female is in this tank. Um, long story short is my male ram passed away. Um, it's third day that I noticed, third day of having him that I noticed he was on the substrate, just laying there, full of color, fins were all up, he was well aware, and then it was the next day that I found him, passed away, just lying on the substrate. Um, so that's that, I talked to, I messaged my breeder and he said, no worries, I'll let you come grab another one. I, he just got a shipment in and they just finished quarantine uh, the other day so he said I could come in today if I wanted um, so I'm probably gonna do that I don't know if it's gonna be today um, but yeah that's that's just what it is uh, the Rams got switched from I panicked because of how bad he was doing I w took them from tap water put them into this RO tank um, well, I, I panicked and threw all the substrate I had into there, poorly put in the slate rocks, and just threw the driftwood there. And, um, yeah, that's just how it goes. But now they're in a better water quality, so once I get the new ram, I'll uh, keep you guys updated. Uh, for the discus, I've got some good news about these guys. They've been... They've really been cleaning these co or the pots, like really cleaning them. They never, they never do anything else though. It's just cleaning the pots, and that's it. Um, but they will never clean it together. It's usually just one that'll start cleaning it. Um, and then once one stops, the other one will go and clean it. Um, but yeah, so good signs out of these guys. Nothing out of these two at all. They have not been doing anything. They don't even touch their cones or their pots. Maybe it's because they're pots. I don't know. They're not as smooth as uh, cones because of the multiple pots being stacked on top of each other. So I'd like to look into getting some cones. But the only place that sells them here sells them like locally for like $40 a piece. And that is just outrageous. So I might order some online. I'm not sure. Um, big tank. We've still got this little or lonely discus here. I'd like to rehome them to somebody that cares for discus, like knows what they're doing. Because I get a lot of people that message me like, hey, I love discus, I don't have any, but I want this one. Well, I would not recommend that, and I really don't want him to go to you because I don't want him to be put into a tank with the wrong surroundings. Or the guy not know how to take care of them, or doesn't know anything about water for them. But yeah, and now I've I've actually just updated my RO system to uh, three five-gallon pails. I used to just have the one, then I went out and bought two more and three lids, um, so I can have three five-gallon pails of RO mixing all the time whenever I need it. Um, they all have an airline in them, as you can just see the top of that one. Can't really see that one. You can just barely see the one on that one. But um, yeah, it's one gallon of RO or one gallon of tap to each, and then four gallons of RO on each of them, and then I let them sit for 24 hours, and then water change the next day. Uh, so it makes it super easy. I could not keep up with water changes with just one, so I went out and got the two, and now it's much easier. Um, but yeah, I think that's about it for an update. Uh, I'm going to be going on a trip to Vancouver here pretty quick. Um, on November 3rd, only for a day, I'm going to watch a Canada versus the Maori All Blacks uh, rugby game. But I'm also going to be stopping at the Vancouver Aquarium. So I'll probably take my camera and get a little tour for you guys or a couple clips of at least some of the stuff they have. I know they actually have some freshwater fish uh, so I'll definitely get that for you guys um, 
so yeah, if you want to see more videos like this, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.